Hello, everybody. It's Thursday, October 3rd. It's playoff baseball season, and ain't it a beautiful thing? The Braves just put a pretty pretty big scare into the Cardinals, but were able to, uh, Cardinals were able to pull it out. Yesterday, my team, at least my team that's remaining, and my favorite players team, the Rays, Beat the A's uh, basically in the same way I've been seeing the Rays win down the stretch. Is they'll get a starter out there, get a few innings out of him, and pull him before he start before he falls apart. Sort of the modern approach to starters, and it worked. You know they got a couple runs, a couple unlikely home runs from Andy Diaz, and they were able to just write it out. You go to the pen, you know before the 6th, 7th inning when you traditionally would, and they just shut the A's down from there. And I expect to see that when the Rays can uh, continue on to play the Astros because now they're going to start um, Glass now and Snell and guys like that that haven't pitched a lot of innings. And they're not going to be running them out there five, six, seven innings at a time. I promise you that. Anyway, that's going to be an intriguing series. Uh you know, probably everybody on this planet would pick Houston to win that one just straight up. But I still, I think the Rays could put a scare into them. And, and you never know. Any given October, we'll call it. So this isn't really a baseball chat channel, but it's a baseball autograph channel. And a lot of what we collect is inspired by what we see on TV and at games, because that's what made us fall in love with the sport. So on Tuesday, you saw I got this Jim Umbarger request back. And I meant to add the 79 to our giveaway pile. Be the first card for the October giveaway pile. And the video will always go up for that on the last Sunday of the month. So we got quite a while to add to that stack. Let's see if we can do it today. Two returns. Now that I'm done just yammering about baseball... Uh, Seattle, Washington, North Texas, North Dallas. Uh, <laughs> seems like I get three or four a week from this. And if you watch this channel, you know I always comment on it. But sure enough, here's our here's our North Texas return. Uh, I don't really have a lot of stuff out to Seattle. I have a Scott Service request out and a John Olerud that's getting kind of old. So I'm thinking it's one of those two. But who knows? It could be something else I forgot about. So Machine did a number on this. So I'll just uh, make sure that my cards are there. And we'll take care of the rest of that. Oh, okay. What's going on? Oh, it's David Eckstein. Okay. David Eckstein is a coach for the Pirates. And apparently he lives in the Seattle area, which I had no idea. Sent him four cards about, eh, let's call it, 50 days ago, and we got returns. Let's see what we got here. There's a turkey red that's either 05 or 06. They look the same, so it's hard to know without looking at the number. Pretty low number, so that's an 05. The first year that they, they did that turkey red, or started making those again, I should say. Oh, we got some smearing going on here on these tops cards. Wow, pretty significant. And I would say those are... Basically, not something I'm going to add to my collection. I might, uh, I have a pile of stuff that's kind of damaged like this that I give away every once in a while on a Facebook group called Guru Baseball Autographs. And that's probably what I'll do here because I just, that's just a pass for me. Luckily, the other turkey red, this must be the 06 looking higher number. I think there were 300 each of the first two years. Tops, I believe, still does turkey red. Looking for the copyright there. But I think they're online exclusives, or at least they were for a while. And they started changing up the designs a little bit. They're not exactly like, like this or like the original turkey red cards. But they look great. Uh, they're great for getting autographs on. And I have uh, probably a, a dozen or so other players. As at one time I had the whole set, I had the whole 
uh, 05 and 06 set unsigned. So when I broke them up, you know, I had a lot of material to send out. North Texas Dallas Post Office. Pete O'Brien. Longtime Ranger, shorter time Mariner. Uh, basically blocked Tino Martinez uh, in 91 from starting at first base. The manager at the time, Jim Lefevre, just was a huge Pete O'Brien man. And Tino had proven everything that he needed to in the minors, but they left him down a little bit longer. Uh, 92 rolls around. Uh, Mariners get a new manager, Bill Plummer. And O'Brien didn't perform all that great in, in 91. So Tino gets the job, and of course he was very good until the Mariners gave him to the Yankees. Story of my life. Two returns today. A lot more baseball to watch. I got the Nationals Dodgers on here in the background. And hopefully we get uh, some more returns tomorrow. That's it for now, and uh, I hope your team wins. Later.